Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Wong and today we're going over two addition strategies. First we're going to go over doubles and then that's going to help us understand near doubles. So let's review the concept of doubles. If I take 5 plus 5, I have two of them which means that they're doubled and 5 plus 5 is 10. Same if I take 20 plus 20, you probably automatically know it is 40. Doubles are very, very simple for our brains to compute, and it makes it easy for mental math. So if I said 200 plus 200, you automatically know it's 400. It's just something that our brain can handle. So now that we understand how to do doubles, let's go over near doubles. So if I have a problem like 25 plus 26 equals, that's kind of hard to do in my head really quick, but I can think of it this way. I know that if I take away 1 from 26, I get 25. And now 25 plus 25 is super easy to solve. I know off the top of my head that that's 50. But here's the thing, I took away 1 from the 26, making the number smaller. So I have to make sure that I add it back on to the 50. And now I have 51. Therefore, 25 plus 26 is 51. You can use the same strategy with larger numbers. So let's look at 250 plus 260. Now, I know that if I subtract 10 from 260, I can get 250. And when I add 250 plus 250 mentally, I know that I get 500. But again, we had subtracted from 260 this 10 right here, so we need to make sure we add it back. So 500 plus 10 is 510. So therefore, we know that 250 plus 260 equals 510 without having to do the standard algorithm. Remember, the strategy for doubles and near doubles is to create the problem to make it so that you have doubles and it's easier to mentally do the math. So for example, if I have the number 79 plus 79, that, in my brain, kind of makes me panic because I can't do that mentally in my head. But I know I can do 80 plus 80, so I'm just going to add 1 to each of them to make 80. So I know 80 plus 80 is 160. That's really easy. But here's the deal. I added 1 to each of them. That means I need to subtract 2 because I gave them each an extra 1 to work with. So if I subtract 2 from 160, I get 158. So I know that 79 plus 79 equals 158. So sometimes I love to check my math by using the standard algorithm. So let's do that. 79 plus 79, stacking them on top. 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15, and it's 158. So these are two different ways that you can do this problem. With number talks, we want you to be able to explain multiple different ways to solve a problem because sometimes you can use the different methods to check your work. And it's always great to double check your work when doing math, especially for tests. So remember that the goal for doubles and near doubles is to make doubles to make it easier for you to do the mental math. If you take away or add to create a simpler double pair, you always have to compensate by giving it back at the end of your solution. We will go over this concept more in class, but this is just an introduction to the addition strategies doubles and near doubles. I can't wait to see how you use this strategy to support you in checking your work. Bye scholars, see you in our next video.